All right, so this is our very discreet door that hides one of the secrets of Colburn Lodge, which is one of the first flush toilets in the city of Toronto. So we'll start with the top layer of this unit, which is the lid. And when it was installed, it would have covered the basin of the water closet. And underneath that piece was the wooden seat, beautifully fitted when all the screws and such are in place. To make it work, it's an interesting two-stage process. It ha two things happen at the same time. So you need water to come in and you need to release the waste. So you can see the wires on the floor of the unit and they are attached to this flushing mechanism at the bottom. And it would have pulled that wire, which is connected to uh, a water closet cistern, and it released water through the, the ceramic basin into the pan and at the same time it's dumping. We would rely on the water that came off the eaves of the building, um, collected down below the floors, but it would have gone into something called a cesspit, and that cesspit uh, collected the water and the waste, and from time to time there would be people who came and dug it out, who shoveled it out. Um, so Mr. Howard had people come to the lodge from time to time to clean out the cesspit.